Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole and welcome to another episode of what's new in skincare for the month of August. Oh, we have a lot to cover in this month, I'm suspecting because I kind of didn't quite film this series last month even though the effort was there. And if you are new to this series, yes, this is indeed a video in which we talk about new skincare releases. We have three categories that you can jump to. In the description box below, we'll cover drugstore skincare, Korean skincare, and high-end skincare releases. I will also have links to all of the products that I talk about. I will affiliate those whenever I can, which means I may make a commission. Also, for those of you that are wondering, yes, we are still doing the 21 Days of Beauty video series that will go up every Saturday preceding the week of Ulta sales. You know the drill if you've seen these videos before. If you're new, definitely check those videos out. You know by now that I love Ulta. So let's start this video with the drugstore category. And speaking of Ulta, a product that I purchased during the 10x point sale. This is the Miracle Skincare Sponge. Look, I admit to you that this was a curiosity purchase. I don't want to hear people saying, what's a curiosity purchase? No, you all know what a curiosity purchase is. That is when you look at a product online and it's so strange and intriguing and confusing that you have to buy it. I mean, look at this sponge. It's a, a skincare sponge. The heck is a skincare sponge? And it looks like the Death Star. It turns out to be so utterly strange. So what you're supposed to do is you wet it first and then you apply toner to the sponge. Well, I didn't really expect this to work because I don't know if you've ever used a beauty blender for foundation, but they tend to absorb some of the foundation. So I was thinking this is probably not gonna be ideal for toner application. However, it turns out that since it's a thicker material, it doesn't actually absorb the toner. Instead, it just kind of facilitates moving the toner around on your skin. So it actually works for toner application. And then they say you can use this portion right here to apply your, or to massage in your serums and moisturizers. So we still don't have touch of vision so you can't experience it. Also, even doing this on your hand, it doesn't really give you the full experience. Listen, I had zero expectations of this sponge, but when I went to use it, I spent easily five minutes in the bathroom just massaging this into my skin, just loving my life in that moment. It was magical, it was magical. Granted, keep in mind, I'm somebody who tends to like skincare tools, but to get so much enjoyment from a $6.99 skincare tool, I was so blown away. But then I, of course, went to squeeze it out, rinse it off a little bit, put it away, and that's when it ripped. It's not a terrible rip, and we're gonna try not to make it worse because I actually really enjoy this, but yes, it does have a little rip here. And since I was just loving this sponge, obviously I was pretty perturbed. So at that point, I go on the Ulta website and I'm thinking, you know, let's see what the other reviewers say. Well, first of all, this doesn't have any reviews yet. I should write one if I can find the time. But they also did at the same time release a different type of skincare sponge and that's the Miracle Cleanse sponge, which to me looked like a cognac sponge, which is why I skipped it. I figured, oh, I have enough of those. And this is where I got a little more frustrated. This product has two reviews, both three stars, and somehow both from Lynn. <laughs> I also kind of love this. So the first review says, garbage. Mine fell apart the first time I used it. Would give it no stars if I could. But they gave it, they gave it three stars. Y you could have given it one star, that option exists. <laughs> No stars, three stars. <laughs> so in the end, I guess I kind of feel flustered with this because I got so much enjoyment from this in my one single use before it ripped that I want to rave about it. I want to recommend a Real Techniques 699 product to you, but this is a problem with Real Techniques these days. But yeah, as it stands, I mean, I don't really feel comfortable recommending you a product that ripped on my first juice, and that's a shame. 
it had potential. Next up, we have a new release from Geek and Gorgeous. This was very kindly gifted by the brand. This is the Stressless 0.5% Beta Glucan and Medecasoside Serum for repair purposes. Aw, oh, thank you for releasing a product with my damaged moisture barrier in mind. I appreciate that. How, how did you know? So many of the products in today's video are about repairing the skin. It, it, it's not, it's not just me, is it? There's probably a lot of skincare enthusiasts out there who have also messed up their skin. I feel like you could look at this product and say 0.5%, who is getting excited about 0.5%? But you know, the reality is that's actually a very high concentration for those specific ingredients. So beta-glucan is a component of oats and medecasoside is a component of Sika. Both oats and Sika are very repairing and calming and soothing ingredients for your skin. But the reason that they're calming is because of these two constituents found within those plant ingredients. Or again, you can take just those constituents and standardize them into a formula. And again, this 0.5% level is a high level. So in spite of having this very simple overall ingredients list, I am finding this to be a very reparative and healing product. Blessed be. It's another well done product. I really love the 101 line in particular from Geek and Gorgeous. If you want more information about this brand, I will link you my full video review. Okay, so the new product from e.l.f. is called the, <laughs> forgive the name, Dope Dreams Sleeping Mask. <laughs> uh, all right, e.l.f. e.l.f. is out here selling their products with no caps because they heard it's what the kids want. I'm sorry, it's a joke. Apparently I'm in a slightly sassy mood today, which always makes for interesting videos. Okay, this is a new addition to the Hemp line from e.l.f., which is probably my favorite collection. I like the, no, it is my favorite. I like the CBD line, but the Hemp line is just phenomenal and the prices are still very fair. So we have a sleeping mask here, 2.7 fluid ounces, $10. To be clear here, this is not CBD based, this is a hemp seed based product, which also is a calming and nourishing ingredient. So, you know, you don't necessarily have to go full CBD skincare. You can benefit from that hemp ingredient. It has a great profile of fatty acids. And otherwise, what I would say about this is it looks non-irritating and that's what attracts me to this line. You know, <laughs> again, referencing Monday's video, I think that it would have gone so much better if I had used a lot more just basic products with one or two of those products. We might have a completely different experience had I done that. And that's the benefit of just these simple, straightforward, kind of nothing exciting going on products, but you know, there's nothing wrong with basic. So yeah, this looks amazing. One thing I'm trying to figure out from the appearance, I don't see any details about this on the website, but it looks like it might be that type of product that has the little beads that burst open and give you, you know, vitamin C or what have you in them. It's so strange that it looks like that, but it's just not explained anywhere. So I wanna try it. I wanna find out for myself. Mm. I'm so sorry if my eyes are red in today's video. It's allergy season for me, apparently. I've taken Zizol this morning, but I don't know if it's really working all that well. So if my eyes get red at certain points in this video, <coughs> I just had a coughing attack, but I'm okay. <laughs> Let's move on to Korean skincare. I'm sure I don't need to tell you all this, but I'm not typically the most up to date on the entire world of Korean skincare. However, I do buy products just a little later. <laughs> Usually, usually. So I will eventually have a haul coming for you of some of the newer releases from K-Beauty brands. So I did buy, for example, the Beauty of Joseon Glow Deep Serum that we talked about in that video. I'll share with you my thoughts, hopefully next week. But as for this video, I actually did buy a new release. This is the I'm From Vitamin Fruit Serum. Somehow I hadn't tried an actual serum from them in spite of trying a lot of their other products, but I finally bought a serum from them. It just seemed so fitting for my skin type. This is, wait, let me make sure I get the numbers right. 
You gotta find the box, you know how it is. So this is 74% sea buckthorn extract. That is an ingredient that works so well for my needs. It's a very healing, nourishing, restorative ingredient. But what's really interesting about this serum is that that ingredient is almost always in oil products. I guess there are some exceptions. It's also in the Stradia Liquid Gold product and it's a lot of what makes that product so yellow. And if you take a look at this serum, you yet again see that characteristic yellowy gold color, but it's just such an incredibly interesting texture. It's definitely a serum. Can I, can I make it bounce the water droplets? Yeah, I, I can do that. So yeah, you can see, you know, it's a lightweight product, but there is something about the texture that's so oil-like in a light way. You know how squalene is a lighter oil? Imagine that with, I don't know, 80% less of an oily texture to it. That's what this is like. It, it's so interesting. And look at my hand right here, it's completely absorbed from being that yellow texture that felt kind of like an oil to now just becoming one with my skin. This is what's so interesting to me. So I've been using this a lot in this past week. And you know, you can still see that I've suffered from the events that took place on Monday. My skin still has some breakouts, we're still healing, but it also is still kind of really glowy. And I attribute that primarily to this product because that is what this does for me. In spite of my skin being a mess, I'm, I'm, I'm a glowy mess. I'm, I'm a glowy mess. Listen, that's life goals for some amount of people. And you know, that's not all that's going on here. This is also a very long list of antioxidant rich ingredients, including some of my absolute favorites in here. We have turmeric, absolutely love turmeric, wonderful for helping to decrease inflammation. Niacinamide, beta-glucan, hyaluronic acid in, again, a, a texture that is just truly a pleasure to use. It is, it's a beautiful product yet again. And new from another favorite brand for me, we have four new lip products from CosRx. So it looks like two of the varieties are now on the Ulta website, although you can go to the Yes Style website if you're interested in the other options. I'm actually kind of bummed out by the choices they have on the Ulta website. They have the lip scrub and the Ceramide Lip Butter Sleeping Mask, which I kind of feel like that's the, that one sounds nice, but it's the least appealing of the four to me personally. I am, of course, looking at the Lip Plumper. Uh, they say this has AHA and BHA. I see the betaine salicylate, but you know, that's not the same as salicylic acid, certainly not as strong as it is. Where is the AHA ingredient? Maybe it's just naturally occurring from the plant ingredients choices. They also do have some similar ingredients in this to the Grande Pout lip mask, which I reviewed a while ago, and I, I really do love that product. It actually helps. Not that I have any problems with my thin little lips, they're fine, but I don't complain if a product makes them a little bit more full looking. And yeah, $15.90 on the Yes Style website. I'll have my rewards code up for you if you're interested in purchasing through there. And then we have the Propolis Lip Sleeping Mask, which I love Propolis. Unsurprisingly, they're saying this one is for moisture and nourishment. Rich texture leaves a non-sticky finish. It sounds lovely. I wish there was more reviews. There are a fair amount of reviews on the Ulta website, but eh, they're kind of mixed. And again, that's on the Ceramide Lip Butter. This made me sad. I love CoStarX. I use several products twice a day, every single day, but it made my lips dry out in just a few hours. Uh, it sounds like you might be irritated by something in there. We do have some five-star reviews. It works, you use it one time and that's it. And then we have three-star reviews, not the best, not the worst. I wouldn't purchase again. It's gritty feeling, even 20 minutes from applying. Oh, I'm familiar with that. I know all about that from the Primera lip balm. Yeah, there's a few people saying it's gritty. Have any of you tried any of these lip balms yet? I know that when they first released, Costarex did the thing they sometimes do, where they have a 50% off discount on the new releases, but 
I didn't go for them because I would have had to buy all four for free shipping. I don't pay for shipping. It is against my religion. We're about to move into the high-end section, but don't leave because the first product I would actually say is much more on the affordable side and actually is kind of seems very heavily influenced by I guess Korean beauty products? Anyway, this is the Peace Out Repairing Moisturizer. This was $28. I actually paid $18 for it. I'll tell you about that in a moment. But I don't think I have ever bought a product immediately after reading the email announcing it. Usually I think about it, sleep on it, make sure we want to make that purchase. I jumped at this and I am not disappointed in the slightest. Okay, here, here's what stood out to me. So first of all, they're saying that this is obviously a repairing moisturizer, but for oily and blemish prone skin with Bacuchiol, ceramides, and coenzyme Q10. Here's the thing. You almost never see these repairing moisturizers geared for, in particular, oily skin. Look, if you have dry skin, you've got a bunch of options on the market. Probably my personal favorite rec for you would be the Ghost Democracy Cocoon. But listen, if you have oily skin, I mean, I absolutely think you would hate that product. It's so heavy. I love it dry skin type, go figure, but oily skin, I just can't imagine it. So I was so excited about trying a product that was geared towards oily skin. I really don't want to be someone who just talks about products that are great for dry skin. I want to find good products for oily skin types too. And of course, if a product is made for oily skin, I can get around it by adding a couple drops of oil and actually using some of the mini oils in my collection. This is such a good moisturizer. They say it helps to calm and soothe sensitive skin while keeping it looking refined and clear, a mix of antioxidants, helps support a healthy skin barrier and lock in optimal moisture. Sensitive, oily, and blemish-prone skin needs moisture too. And that's all very true, especially if you do damage your moisture barrier. I'm, I'm being stingy with it, but you can see, you know, it blends out beautifully. That's so important to me in moisturizer. That's what I griped about on Monday. Blends out beautifully, and yet once it's absorbed into to your skin. Your skin doesn't feel the moisturizer on it per se, maybe perhaps a bit. Your skin feels nourished, but it doesn't look heavy on. I like the addition of Bacuchiol in this product because I actually do like Bacuchiol. I don't love that Bacuchiol is sometimes somehow called retinoids or retinoid-ish in products. They're not doing that in this product. So I, I really respect everything that's going on here. Oh, I promised I would talk about the $10 discount. So I found a referral code for the Peace Out website. You get $10 off when you spend, I think it's 25. I, I really, really think this is well done. I've been hard on Peace Out a lot, but this is, this is an amazing direction. And I think I wanna really quickly touch on this one. This was gifted by the brand. In fact, the rest of the products in this video were all gifted by the brands. This is the Fresh Advanced Therapy Recovery Lip Mask. I actually got this a while ago, but I didn't do a normal what's new in skincare. I am surprised that it took Fresh this long to come out with this type of a product because they're so good at lip products. They had all of those lip balms, but none of them were specifically, you know, that category of very heavy lip masks, the Laneige type, etc. But they finally did it and they did a really good job on it. I love that it's got a little tiny scoop that sits in the lid. And I would absolutely say Advanced Therapy is the right name for this. I do think it is a very hydrating overnight lip mask. That's how I've been using it. Um, I don't think it's gonna become a personal favorite for me because I like the ones that give a little bit more plumping to my lips. So I'll go back to Grande Pout, but I mean, I'll, I'll certainly finish this. I still really enjoyed it. And you know, Fresh never really, has, have they ever had a bad lip product? I can't think of one. Next up from Algenist, also gifted by the brand. This is the Blue Algae Vitamin C Skin Clarity Brightening Serum. Now, I talk a lot about Algenist on this channel. I talk a lot about algae as well. I'm probably out of video links, but we do have a video on algae if you're interested in that. I'll have it in the description box below. Not only do I love algae, but I love vitamin C. And this is a product that is made for enhancing brightness and luminosity. 
evening out the skin tone, reducing the appearance of pores and helping improve the visible signs of photo aging for overall improved skin clarity. So this sounded very up my alley. I feel like Alginus has made a lot of products that are kind of geared for more mature skin, which is wonderful, but they've kind of been lacking products for a little bit younger skin types up until this. Great ingredients list, it is high in ascorbic acid as your vitamin C source. Of course, it is rich in those algae ingredients, which are wonderful anti-aging and brightening ingredients. And it has a long list of antioxidant as well as anti-inflammatory ingredients. The one thing I would say you should know about this, and this is something that was just completely unexpected to me until I tried it, it smells just like basil, which is likely because it contains basil. I don't think I've ever smelled a skincare product that makes me want to eat Italian food so badly. It's lightweight overall, especially compared to some alginous products, but it does leave your skin feeling nourished. It has that emollient feel to it. But you know, really well done. Overall, I would say this is a product that is both for clarity and for anti-aging. And again, that's a category that we don't see all that often because typically people either have acne and they're very young and they don't care yet about anti-aging or they're older and no longer have acne and only care about anti-aging. And then there's those of us who are very lucky souls who sit in the middle going, is my life a joke? So good release. Good release overall. Absolutely love that someone thought of us. Next up, we have a new release from Cure. This is a very interesting direction. It is their serum. Wait, does it have a name? I think maybe it's just their serum, y'all. It might, it might just be their serum. My impression of Cure as a company is that they're pushing the boundaries of skincare with products or skincare tools where the evidence is really starting to grow, but it's also something that's kind of new for some amount of people. And yet it comes together to make effective products, at least in my experience. Now this one here, they're saying it has peptides, retinol, vitamin C and E, AHAs, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and botanicals. And after my little lesson on Monday, we're gonna be careful with how we incorporate this. But I'm particularly intrigued with the acetylhexapeptide 8, especially in conjunction with the retinol. Peptides and retinol is one of my absolute favorite combinations out there. Typically not too much as peptides are not uh, active in the same way as other active ingredients like alpha hydroxy acids, but instead they're kind of really interesting little molecules that honestly get a bad rap sometimes. So I'm sure you've heard about peptides, they're anti-aging ingredients, they're signaling molecules. And this specific one, acetylhexapeptide 8, you may know it better as argyrolene. I have seen a lot of people say things like, well, there's not a lot of published literature into these peptide ingredients and I want data-driven skincare. And I do respect that, but I'm also gonna say, it is worth knowing that the uh, companies that manufacture these, for example, the company that owns the patent on Argyrolene, they do have their own data and it is very interesting. This is all to tell you that I think there's a lot of potential with peptides. I'll talk more about them on this channel very soon, hopefully next week. Um, yeah, I think there's a ton of potential. My plan with this serum is to try it on just my forehead. I wanna do my best to test it out. Of course, I'm an N equals one over here, but I will do what I can. You know what, let's do this actually. Comment below if you are someone who has tried Argyrolene. Is it something that you've seen great benefits from or you haven't? Or, or Matrixyl as another example there. That's another peptide uh, patented name. Let me know in the comment section below. And last product I have to share with you in today's video was also gifted kindly by the brand. This is a newer brand to the Sephora website and it is Rose Ingleton MD. Now, I'm so pleased to tell you that this is a doctor owned brand that is actually owned by a board certified dermatologist. Whoa, what's the deal with so many other types of doctors owning skincare brands? It's a, it's a bit strange, no? 
So Dr. Ingleton is of Jamaican heritage, and what she wanted to bring to her brand were some of the Jamaican superfruits, which I do think is an exciting idea. These are ingredients that are very rich in antioxidants. In this particular product, you are getting some naturally occurring AHA ingredients. And by the way, this retexturizing booster, this is a retinol product that does combine those natural fruit acids in addition to some extra lactic acid, glycolic acid, malic acid, tartaric acid. So it actually reminds me a lot of the Shani Darden retinol product, which is a very popular product because when you combine retinol and lactic acid as Shani Darden does, you get a product that is a bit more strong. You're getting a synergistic effect from those two ingredients together, and this is even more AHA ingredients. But I was looking at the uh, Sephora questions and answers section and there's a lot of people asking, okay, but what's the percentage of retinol? I just want to make sure I'm clear that I fully respect everyone's decisions on this. If you're someone who will not buy a product unless they have disclosed percentages, I understand completely. On the other hand, I also do understand the perspective of companies, especially when I see a synergistic blend going on that is going to make a stronger end product, which is all to say, let's just say, for example, it's 0.3% retinol. Because of those extra ingredients in here, it may not act like a 0.3% retinol on your skin. And I absolutely think that's why companies often don't want to disclose the percentages. It's a tricky conversation. It's a tricky conversation because even if they did disclose, do people know that it's going to act more strongly on their skin? That's what's hard to say. That's why we actually do need, we still need even more information and education about skincare. We really do. It's not an easy topic. It's a very complex and nuanced topic. And I think we just need more information. L let me make sure I'm clear here. I did not put out Wednesday's video to come on camera today and act like I know everything about skincare. I don't. I'm still learning more myself every single day. And I think that's, I think that's the approach we have to have with skincare. Oh, I had a sneaking suspicion this was gonna be one of those types of videos where I go off a lot. Regardless, I do think it's a nice product. I think it is formulated very well and it is not irritating on my skin, but keep in mind I have used a lot of retinol. Let's fly through the rest of the video. I'm sure it's been a long one because I've been chatty today, but really quickly, wanted to update you all on the Drunk Elephant Vitamin C. So they have now introduced a new format for this and I think it is the right move. Of course, this is C-Firma. It is still 15% L-ascorbic acid and ferulic acid, but now it comes in a format where you have to mix the ingredients together. This is smart because this is going to preserve the lifespan of that ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid is, of course, not a very stable molecule at all. So when you keep it separated, like the offspring would tell you to do, from the water component of the product, you will have a product that will arrive much more fresh to you. I think that's been a lot of the problem with C firma in the past. I've certainly heard of a lot of people getting oxidized products upon opening, so I think this will really help to prevent that. We also have new from Topicals two body mists, yes, body toners. I don't know everything, but I do love being right. This is such a smart idea. They came out with two different varieties, so you pick the one for your skin needs. We have the Faded Brightening and Clearing Mist, as well as the Like Butter Hydrating and Soothing Mist. So obviously, one of them is for blemish-prone skin, for bacne. It's a real thing, definitely. And the other is more for dry skin types. I want to try more from Topicals. I, I have a sample of Faded, but I still haven't tried it. I've actually, I've seen really mixed reviews on Faded. I've seen a lot of skincare enthusiasts say they love it. And I've also seen people say that it was way too strong for them. So obviously I'm not going to be trying it for a while, but hoping to eventually. And yeah, these look like nice additions to their line. New from Tatcha, the Indigo Overnight Repair Serum and Cream Treatment. $88 for 1.7 ounces, which actually for Tatcha, that's not that bad. 
you know, you gotta admit, they do a good job on presentation. I'm sure that's a beautiful product, but what's going on in the ingredients list? So we have Japanese indigo extract, hyaluronic acid and ceramides, and mondo grass root. And they're saying it is a serum in moisturizer treatment that visibly calms irritation, strengthens skin's barrier, and balances the microbiome. So yeah, yeah, it's like everybody in the world who has been into skincare has now reached the point of damaging our moisture barriers together as a group. But yeah, I think it's so funny, that's the theme for this month. The theme for this month is unquestionably reparative products. And one final product to close this video out with, we have the Dr. Barbara Sturm Aloe Vera Gel. $70 for 4.2 ounces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she didn't. Oh Did you? Oh, Barb. Barb. It's Somehow I feel like that was a sufficient review of this product. Was that a good review of this product, Alice? No, Alice. That was the best review. And my friends, that concludes this month's What's New in Skincare. What will they think of next? Thank you, as always, for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to like and subscribe. Share with me your thoughts in the comment section below. Have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you all next time.